You are the co-founder of Beautylish. Can you tell me how this concept came to be? How did you get the idea? I was dating this girl that would blog about makeup a lot. She would just write on her blog about the makeup products that she used and what she thought of them. And I noticed that she wasn't the only one. There are actually thousands and thousands of girls doing this and there are actually even more girls kind of creating these videos on YouTube showing other girls how to apply makeup. And I noticed that these girls didn't really have a place that they could call home. They were kind of using different like websites like they were doing on Facebook, doing on YouTube, doing on Twitter, and doing on Blogger. And that's kind of what occurred to me that Silicon Valley really ignores a lot of different kind of verticals that, um, especially female oriented verticals, because Silicon Valley, if you haven't noticed, is very male. Yes, totally. So a lot of the problems that they try to solve are very kind of male, male focused problems. And I thought that if we could apply some of the things that we've seen as think about, just some of the innovations socially and digitally, um, we could actually create a really cool product that women would really like. Beautylish was something that we, we took a different approach to um, because a lot of my background has been just um, in social networks and community building and we started realizing that um, community was one of the things that we knew was very defensible, meaning like if you could create a really passionate and powerful community, especially around something like makeup, which is already a passionate topic, that that was something that you had that would be unique, that other people couldn't copy because it just takes too long because you can't just throw money at that problem. You guys are focusing primarily on tutorials. How much of the market have you captured and how can you quantify that data? We know that it's a very big market and, and you talk to women, almost every single woman uses beauty products of one way or another. And beauty is more than just makeup, it's more than just like the color cosmetics, the mascaras, it's you know, it's your, your nails, it's your hair, you know, it's those, those things that go into it. We've been focusing primarily on the way that women shop for cosmetics, and we realized that it was actually really difficult, and that's the feedback we would get from people, like, they didn't know what product to buy because there's too many of them. Not so much that they didn't know that these products uh, existed. So what we were trying to do is, hey, let's look at how they buy, and first they discover a product, they might research a product, and they might transact on a product. So we've been focusing on the discovery and the research heavily.